Hey guys, how's it going? A good new week to you? You know, after the first six minutes of today's audio, it'll get really hilarious. I'd like you to listen to it a few times before drawing your own conclusions. In fact, I've already begun to put the theory into practice. If you don't know what they're talking about, then it can be a difficult pill to swallow. I advise you to listen to it in a quiet environment quite a few times to fully understand. Using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure. Wishing you an awesome day and a great week. Enjoy and chill. like to introduce a new concept here as we are visiting together on this leading edge experience by saying to you that you really are the creator of your own reality and it would be fair to say to you blessed beings that you are you are in the process of creating most of you two realities contrast is causing you to expand and add to the reality of the greater source in other words you are creating the reality of who you are as the eternal being that you are and you are also in the process of creating the reality of how you feel right now this red hot minute and we want those realities to merge and the only way that those realities can merge is for you to come with us in other words because we're not going with you we are not going to complain with you about the injustices of your world because we see them not. We are not going to complain with you about shortages that do not exist. We're not going to complain with you, with you about illnesses that are only shadows where you have blocked the light from beaming into your experience. We are not going to talk to you about those things that make you feel bad. And in fact, the reason that you feel bad when you talk about them is because we're not going with you. Can you hear that? The only reason you ever feel bad is because you choose a subject line and practice it long enough that you hold yourself chronically apart from the strongest part of your resources of your source and when you do that you are diminished and in the beginning your diminishment is slight it just feels like emotion when you have a feeling of worry wash over you when you have a feeling of anger wash through you when you have a feeling of of overwhelmment despair frustration overwhelmment anger fear when you have those feelings of negative emotion wash over you all they mean is you're thinking about something quite differently than who you really are and what you really are thinks so as you begin to understand that in the beginning your sensation of departure from who you really are will feel like emotion the indicator will get stronger if you keep it up in other words it's emotion then it's chronic emotion then it's physical sensation then it's physical discomfort in time it could be physical illness or physical trucks running over you things like that <laughs> in other words the more you the longer you hold yourself in vibrational discord with who you really are the more vivid the discord becomes the more apparent your discord becomes it is our powerful desire that you will begin acknowledging to yourself you don't have to say it to others sometimes your clarity freaks them out if they're not ready for it we think it's a good idea if you allow the other people on this ship their own experience and don't try to suck them in if someone says to you what are you guys doing in there say to them I don't really know if someone says to you what are you doing in there say I'm just coming into an awareness that my life can be wonderful and I'm just in the process of figuring out how to make it more wonderful every day and then say to them like you look at you here on this boat that's what you're doing too right in other words the more you visit with others the more you will understand that some of them are on the leading edge some of them aren't some of them want to be on the leading edge some of them right now don't and as you just allow them to have their happy cruising experience we expect that if you look around you'll notice that you don't have to come to a seminar like this to have a joining of you and you you could be in an attitude of appreciation and be tuned in tapped in turned on 
You don't have to wrestle yourself or someone else to the ground pointing out what you're doing wrong. You don't have to figure out where you went wrong. You don't have to retrace your steps through your past and figure out what turns you should have taken differently. There's not one turn that you should have taken differently. All of your power is right here and now. And theirs is too. And so as teachers and livers of deliberate creation, as understanders of the power of the universe, as you are recognizing that well-being is the dominant stream that flows, in fact, the only stream that flows, and that you can allow yourself to flow with it or you can pull against it a bit. And as you recognize that that choice in this moment, you can tell whether you're in this moment pulling against that current of well-being or whether you're flowing with that current of well-being. As you begin to recognize that emotions that feel relief, emotions that feel a little better than the emotion that you were feeling before, will always take you in the direction of the closing of that gap between you and you. Do you think you have a pretty good picture of these two vibrational perspectives? Do you understand that you are eternal and that you are physical and that the goal is to be both at the same time? Do you understand that the goal is to be a perfect vibrational match to the source that is within you? And did we make it clear the source within you is not going to join you in your negative thoughts? Did we make it clear that if you feel negative emotion or if you are sick or if something is not going your way, it is not because you are unworthy. It's because you have chosen a vibration that is simply disallowing it. And this is the last thing that we want to be very clear about before we move forward and open it to questions. Do you understand that the source within you is living the fullness of everything that you want? Do you understand that the prosperity that you seek and the well-being that you seek and the clarity that you seek and the help that you seek and the relationships that you seek and the good feeling moments that you seek, the elation that you seek, the clarity and the passion, the knowing that you seek, that the source within you, the inner being that is you is already living all of that. And do you know that that stuff that you want, that you feel that you don't have, the source within you is living now fully. And do you know is living it fully because of the life that you have lived? In other words, you caused the source within you to expand. And the only reason that you feel any negative emotion is because you're not letting yourself keep up with that expansion. If your life didn't cause you to want something... And you didn't go in the direction of something that you didn't want. You would feel no negative emotion. If someone called you on the telephone and said, hello, you don't know me. I'm just calling to tell you I will never call you again. <laughs> you would say, okay. That will be just fine with me. Because... There was no desire and so there's no feeling of lack or tugging. The only reason you ever feel negative emotion is because you expanded into something and now your choice of thoughts is not letting you go in the direction of the expansion. So a very good question for you to begin asking yourself. We would ask it all day, every day. What does my inner being know about this? What does my inner being think about this? And what does my inner being feel about this? How does my inner being feel about you that I can't stand? We're not pointing at you. How does my... <laughs> you maybe. How does my inner being feel about you? I can't stand you. I find injustice in you. I see wrongdoing in you. I've seen bad choices in you. I've seen what I think are negative repercussions because of what you've done. I can't stand you. And now I've got a knot in my stomach and it's your fault because I didn't have this knot in my stomach before I saw you and felt the need to condemn you. If you had behaved better, I wouldn't have to condemn you. If you'd been standing over there with my good friends, then I wouldn't have to feel this way. Go over there and stand with them and behave like them. You, you, now, go over there and be like them. When I look there, I feel so much better than when I look there. And look at you. What? It's none of my business. But it is my business because I'm looking at you and I feel bad. And if you'd stop being that way, I wouldn't feel this way. You need to be different. Get over there. You, you need to be different so that I can feel better. You need to be different so that I can feel better. Oh God, please help them to be different so that I can feel better. If they would be different so that I could feel better, then my world would be complete. Oh, there's another one. The world's crawling with them. 
They all need to be different so that I can feel better, feel the powerlessness in that. They cannot be different for you. It is not their job to be different for you. So what's my choice? I, I cannot stand the way you be. It makes me feel this way. Here's where the question comes in. Inner being, what do you think about them? You got to be kidding. You love them. But did you see what they did? You didn't? You weren't looking? You were looking over there? That's the thing that we so want you to hear. The source within you will not see the negative aspects that you are using to destroy your own lives. The source within you only sees that which is a vibrational match to that which is good. So when you ask the question, inner being, what do you think about this person? What do you think about this situation? Sometimes you're not ready to hear the answer because often you're still in the attitude of trying to defend how you feel because friends, we love you so much. You'd rather be right than feel good. So when you spread your world out before you and you put some of it in bad piles and some of it in good piles and then you try to win the hearts and minds of the people by getting them to agree with you about which are the bad piles and which are the good piles you see what a mess that makes you see how you can't even come to an agreement about what behavior should be offered because You've come forth in such diversity for the balance of the planet. Do you know that you come forth as people with deliberate intentions to be different for the diversity and balance so that you are inspired from within in your differences? So then when you demand that those differences go away and that you become same, you defy the very essence of the source of the soul of the beginning of that which is you. But there is such an easy way to go about this. If you will ask yourself the question, how does my inner being feel about this? Let it be a question that comes up all day, every day. When you ask the question, inner being, source within me, God force within me, whatever you want to call it, what do you think about this? And you listen, you will feel thoughts of reassurance and relief washing through you again and again as you will subject by subject person by person circumstance by circumstance event by event allow yourself to come back into alignment with who you really are on all subjects because within every particle of this universe within every person within every experience that there is that which is wanted and lack of it it's just the magnificent balance of all that is and when you decide to orient yourself toward what feels best to you as you focus upon it you will attune yourself to the vibration of your true center you will attune yourself to the vibration of the source within you and as you attune yourself to that you will thrive and we got to say to you and you know it too in your thriving you're less worried about everyone in your thriving you are less concerned about the injustices of the world because in your thriving you are tuned to something other than the injustice of the world you got to ask yourself, am I tuning myself to injustice or am I tuning myself to well-being? Which is it? Am I tuning myself to love or am I tuning myself to hate? Have I tuned myself to confusion or have I tuned myself to clarity? Have I tuned myself to the best of you or have I tuned myself to the worst of you? And when you start saying to yourself, how am I tuning myself? How am I tuning myself? You take back your power because when you say, I see something I do not like, and you say, oh, wait, I have the capacity to see something I do like wherever I look, or I have the capacity to look somewhere else where there's something that I do want to see that is easy to see. As you begin to show yourself that you can control the way you feel because you can control what you think about, you can control your alignment with source or not. Then you begin to understand you see hateful people around you. You see hateful people doing hateful things and your heart goes out to them because you know, because you've been there yourself. They're not tuned to who they really are.
They're out there on that raw and ragged edge. They've taken themselves apart from who they are and they're suffering mightily because of it. And they are undoubtedly focused upon someone else that they are blaming for it. And they are undoubtedly focused upon someone else that they are blaming for it until there is a chain of pain that you cannot stop by joining the chain of pain. You cannot help them as you suffer. You can only help them in your thriving. You cannot help them in your confusion. You can only help them in your clarity. You cannot help them in your poverty. You can only help them in your abundance. You can only help the others when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And so this seminar is about the only thing that we ever talk about, which is helping yourself. All of your power is in your personal alignment and one who is connected to source is more powerful than millions who are not your power of persuasion, your power of attraction, your power of influence is mighty when you are in alignment with who you are and it is minuscule and paltry when you are out of alignment with who you are. And so this is the art of allowing the art of allowing me to tune myself in to who I am. And to who I am and to who I am.